Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion entitled Undistracted. Undistracted. I want to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 35. I'm saying this for your benefit, not to place restrictions on you. I want you to do whatever will help you serve the Lord best with a few dis- with, with as few distractions as possible. You know that is from the New Living Translation. From the NRV, it says, live in a right way in undivided devotion to the Lord. Live in a right way with undivided devotion to the Lord. You know, if you are traveling to the village of Mantua in northwest of Ohio, in America, don't drive with a dog in your lap. Determined to stop distracted driving, the police in that state are aggressively issuing tickets for texting or summons for texting and for driving with animals sitting on the laps of the driver. Around the world, new laws are being written to address distracted driving. You know, and why? Because all over the world, in many, many countries, you realize, most of the countries, many people are killed because of distracted drivers when they are driving on busy roads or even in uh, loaning roads. You know, it is also important to let nothing distract us from a driving faith in Christ Jesus. Why? Everything around you and I wants your attention and my attention, wants your time and my time, demand your focus for themselves. Whether it's things, whether it's sicknesses, diseases, whether it's people, whether it's career, whether it's education, whether it's work, hobby, uh, traveling, or even, you know, uh, relationships. Hebrews 12, verse 1 says, tells us, to let us throw off, lay aside everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. You know, Jesus warned us that if we aren't careful, the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth can choke the work of the word in our lives in Matthew chapter 13 verse 22 you know if you are not not careful work career that brings income and money to our lives and the concern of what is happening around us can choke your life in Christ and cause you and I to fall away and giving no time making no effort to be with God and go to church and be faithful in studying the Bible and pray See, when we live according to God's plan, nothing can distract us. Every day provides a fresh opportunity to rededicate ourselves to the Lord and to live with single-minded devotion to Jesus Christ in our lives. So, be on the alert and thus stay undistracted in your walk and your journey with Jesus. And everyone say, Amen. Because there are a whole lot of people, there are a whole lot of circumstances, there are a whole lot of voices outside there wants you and I to listen, obey, and follow them. But the greatest voice and the loudest voice in our life should not be people around, circumstances and situations, sicknesses and diseases, family members, but Jesus Christ in your life and in my life. If not, we will get distracted. Amen. Coach Tom Landry says, I learned early in sports that to be effective for a player to play the best he can play is a matter of concentration and being unaware of distractions, positive or negative. So God bless you as you purpose to stay undistracted in following Jesus in your life daily. And everyone say, Amen. God bless you. Stay undistracted in your journey and walk with Jesus. And God bless you. Father, bless the people with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings to you.